Hi there, Nick Smith here. Um, we've got um, a small um, project we're going to look at here, which is the application of SP ratios and um, using the BS5489 grid. So um, we have a, a very typical project set up here, 10 metre road width, 1 metre footpath on e either side, 1 metre setback, um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to use a really specific um, fitting for this. Um, mostly because it highlights the SP ratio um, really well. So we have um, um, a, a fitting here which is the CU Fosco P567. Um, it's been around for years. This particular one is we're using um, a high pressure sodium lamp. Um, and because we have an RA of less than 60 here, we light the target levels of 5 and 1 as you can see here. But um, when we move into other light sources, for example, um, the Cosmopolis light source, the Cosmopolis has an SP ratio of 1.15. And what we do is we, um, we look that up in um, the Professional Lighting Guide 03, and we find out what the appropriate levels are for that, and then we interpolate between the values. So in this case, for an SP ratio of 1.15, we light to an average of 4 and a minimum of 0.8. Um, and um, whatever the target levels are, let's say for um, for that one, um, we can work out a solution. Okay, bad example. Um, perhaps that one. Um, a bad example as well. Um, so um, let's try that one. So that will allow us to work out that at 36 metres um, we achieve the target levels and as you can see down the bottom down here it says the roadway complies with P4 as varied by the SP ratio etc etc and that's fine. Um, now when we move into, into other light sources um, you can see here we've got a, a compact fluorescent which has an SP ratio of 1.28. You can see again the target levels have changed. Um, so that we can um, we can design that accordingly um, with a 57 watt PL. What we're going to get? Uh, we're going to get 27 meters. So not brilliant. Um, similarly, we've got a CDMT SP ratio of 1.3. Um, and if we use, let's say, do you think we'll get a 70 watt to work? Probably. Yes, we will. 37 meters. So um, again, you can see the. Um, the, uh, the thing down here as well. Now if we were to go look at um, a fitting like the um, the TRT aspect and I've chosen this again for a, a really specific reason you can see that they have um, 4000 Kelvin and a 5700 Kelvin fitting in the same folder. Um, the 4000 has an SP ratio of 1.6 and therefore we have a target level of 3.7 and 0.74 and then the um, the higher colour temperature allows you to light to a lower level. Now I'm not specifically saying that you should use cooler white LEDs because obviously there's places where that's appropriate and there's places where they, where it's not. But as we go through and optimise that, um, you will see it's producing the um, the calculation and various fittings they don't comply because um, the lumen package is too high. So. Um, we can either sort this by SP ratio, um, by spacing, but you then have to be careful about which one you actually choose. Um, so um, that covers um, covers that quite nicely. Okay, so um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video today useful. I have a couple of favours to ask of you. If you found it useful, please like the uh, uh, video below. If you have any comments or questions, please add these below too. Um, you can message me through YouTube channel, tweet me at nicksmith1246, or you can email me support at nicksmithassociates.com. If, um, if you subscribe to the channel, um, you will get notifications when I publish new videos. And finally, if you have a topic you want me to cover, please uh, message me through YouTube, through LinkedIn, or, or tweet me at nicksmith1246, or email support at nicksmithassociates.com. And hopefully I will catch you on the lit side.